Hey Chickies, we are going to be chatting all about April favorites. These are the best in beauty and lifestyle for the whole month. We also have a bit of fashion kind of, you know, thrown in there. If you're new here, I'm Christine. I would love if you would please subscribe and be a part of the Chicky crew. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new videos. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like. Hope you guys have been well. April was a crazy busy month in my personal life. I think I uploaded a few videos the month of April, but not as many as I like to have uploaded. What do you guys have planned for the month of May? Do you guys have any upcoming trips? What are you guys up to? Let's just jump in to April favorites. And this month we also have a fail product. First one I wanted to mention are these beautiful brushes. Where is the lid? AOA studio brushes and as you guys can see i thoroughly used every single one of these brushes i've definitely had to clean them they need a deep cleaning as in this weekend we need to get it done set of 10 brushes it comes in this really pretty pink cute travel container which i brought with us on our trip to las vegas the handles are also pink small pencil brush you have a fluffy blending brush this one is more like an angled brush great for contouring eyebrow brush another blending brush we have a pointed crease a small little dome we have another one with a point a flat shader brush and then we have a more precise brush these all came in super handy but the one that i was really really surprised with angled eyebrow brush prefer the brushes to be a lot more dense but this one it is flexible but it distributes the abh brow pomade beautifully over top the brows didn't have any problem with it shedding great for traveling love the container such a steal from shop miss a you guys know i am such sorry there's like a little fly <laughs> stickler when it comes to spf on the face finally ventured out tried something different super goop this is their unseen sunscreen broad spectrum sunscreen spf 40 water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes clean chemical sunscreen actives reef safe non-irritating no synthetic fragrances there's no fragrance in this it's also vegan weightless colorless scentless oil-free formula for face that leaves behind a velvety soft finish yes 100% agreed also acts as a makeup gripping primer I like how it's also that combination of a makeup gripping primer however for my enlarged pores on the nose and the forehead we still need to like go in with another primer that's just you know a whole personal preference it is clear so it doesn't leave like any sort of white cast on the face which I absolutely am all about because every single sunscreen that I've used always has that white cast is worth the money highly 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 recommend this this will probably be my new best friend sunscreen especially for the summertime there is another one from super goop that i really want to try out i believe it's their mattifying moisturizer if i'm not mistaken probably will pick that up sometime soon but let me know if you guys have tried this or your thoughts on super goop products body oils even if it's from the drugstore, as long as it gives you that healthy looking glow, you know, to the tops of your shoulders, collarbones, the decollete area. But it's another major plus when it contains SPF. And I just happened to also fall in love with super goop this is their glow oil which also contains spf 58 it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes and you guys can see i've made a significant little dent in the bottle a little does go a long way a little bit of a fragrance to it it's not it's not unpleasant. It doesn't smell like SPF in my opinion, but it does give you a little bit of that glow without it looking oily or greasy. But the major plus I love about it is that it's not sticky to the touch. And that's the thing about body oil, especially when it wears throughout the day, it can feel kind of gross, but this does not. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't have any shimmer. It is on the pricier side, I will admit. But hey, if you can combine that body oil with the SPF, this is definitely one to check out. Let's just keep chatting about those glowy products because I know a lot of us love to look glowy but not oily. Just recently reviewed, filmed a wear test in hot weather. It's the A Cosmetics Nude Glow. Color correcting medium coverage skin tint, brightening glow serum, which also contains SPF 40. Go check out my whole review in case you're interested on how it wears on an oily T-zone. But right now I can tell you 
definitely feeling this product. I am also wearing it today on the skin. I went uh, a little bit more light-handed with it. The shade that matches me at this moment is Neutral Medium. Rediscovery of the month is going to an e.l.f. product in the shade Lychee, a very beautiful pinky blush, which has a satin finish. I am wearing it today on the cheeks as my blush. And then the highlight is this gorgeous kind of like champagne color. The highlighter in this palette really, really does pop. As you can see, I did pile it on like a little bit more, but if you want it to be a little bit more subtle, apply a little bit and then go over with a damp sponge, just like right over top, just to really melt it into the skin. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, such a great, duo from elf cosmetics and it is also very very affordable i know it's the weekend a lot of us like to do our self-care pamper routines if you guys haven't checked out this video pamper self-care routine a very realistic one make sure you check it out after this video but i did mention sheet masks from i do care they're called the straight chillin cooling aloe sheet mask i was explaining how i haven't really been on top of applying my skincare at night and my skin was just really irritated down here thankfully it's clearing up it was so red irritated after i used this it calmed down significantly baby wipes tub you can stick this whole thing in your fridge and it feels incredible it's already cooling because of the aloe but once you pop it in the fridge and then apply it it is so super relaxing so this i'm telling you have been enjoying it. I think these are great from I Do Care. Are these moisturizing hand gloves from Shop Miss A. Now the thing I love about this, which I forgot to mention in the Pamper self-care routine video, was that these actually smell like rose oil and it's not heavily fragranced with rose oil, just a slight fragrance. These are actually made of gel, not silicone uh, coating on the inside. So basically what you do is you take whatever hand lotion you want to apply, preferably something really thick and apply these gloves, leave them on for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can even wear them overnight, which I have done. And let me tell you, your hands will feel so nice and soft. It really helps whatever lotion you're applying sink into the skin and it's very simple to also clean just wash it with warm water and some soap let it air dry and then that's it we have a couple of hair care products i really want to chat about that i've been really enjoying for the month of april the first one is from dry bar this is called their liquid glass and it's supposed to last up to three shampoos it's a heat protectant it also leaves a nice shiny gloss on the hair 100 agree with that because i've seen it in a lot of the videos in a lot of the vlogs my hair just looked extra shiny and it was because of this product and it leaves your hair feeling nice and soft can't describe the fragrance but it's not unpleasant it's not florally it's not just citrusy it's just you know it has a little bit of a scent tend to wash the hair about every three to four days it doesn't weigh it down if you guys happen to straighten your hair i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this but i really wanted to mention it because it has been a game changer whenever I straighten my hair now. So essentially it is this little comb device thing. So using your flat iron, you kind of just go over the hair and then place your flat iron and it really helps straighten it out. I was going in with like a small rat tail comb to the sections, but this just really helps keep a nice straight line, gets rid of any maybe small little knots and it just glides down. Of course, if you really grip it, tightly then it's not going to go down smooth it's very convenient if you're going to be flat ironing your hair let's actually talk about some fashion items not everybody is into pink items but i really wanted to mention these steve madden sandals because honestly when i purchased them it was just really for the aesthetic because it's pink i loved how you know it has the pink little rhine or rhinestones pink studs on them which hurt by the way if you step on them my husband stepped on them twice because it carelessly left it in the middle outside and he stepped on it not knowing it was really sharp <laughs> and he said that if i leave them out one more time i don't push them to the side where nobody can get hurt he will be <laughs> tossing them out he's kidding but not really but anyway surprisingly so comfortable especially knowing that they are you know flat sandals walking long periods of time if you're going to be standing up 
These are incredibly comfortable. They are available in three different colors at this time. I believe it's a tan, a clear, and I think a silver. But they're always restocking. I will link it down below, including everything else in this video. If you guys are looking for some sandals for the summertime for spring, highly recommend you look into these. Another thing I've been really into for the month of April, and I'm still searching for a pair of these, but in white, flared jeans. I never thought I would go back to flared jeans, but I'm obsessed with flared jeans. Not like the extreme bell bottoms, but ones with like some flare. And these I believe are in a petite small. Did have these hemmed. Two and a half inches cut off the bottom because even though they fit well, perfect with maybe some high wedges, but if I'm gonna wear sneakers with them, we would be basically dragging the dirt off the ground. Let's just put it that way. The way how they fit, it's just incredible. Love this and they do stretch a bit. So I do have them in a light blue and also a black. Did I also mention that it has like a little slit on the side? It's something also really, really liked about these. Please let me know if you guys have seen any white flared jeans, not the extreme bell bottoms, but just, you know, a little bit of that flare. It could have a slit on the side, on the front. It doesn't matter. You know, please let me know because I need to get my hands on a pair of white flared jeans. This next one is more of like an update because I've truly used this item every single day for the month of April and can give you some feedback on it. And I know a lot of you were asking, how is it wearing? Kate Spade pink wallet, which I did film an unboxing a few months ago. Absolutely beautiful. It's like the perfect shade of blush pink. In the front, it does have one pocket here. It has two card holder slots, five card holder slots on the side and then it also has a zippered compartment as well as another pocket here which you know I just kind of keep everything else. I'm using it every single day for the month of April. Have not switched out my wallet and it is still in really good condition. Extremely, extremely good condition. I'm not like super mindful when I grab for the wallet if uh, you know maybe have like a little dirt on my hand or something. I also had questions on the zipper because a lot of people were asking about the zipper if the money gets caught. You know, we do have some cash, thankfully, in here because you guys know I don't really carry cash with me, but it does fit cash in here quite well. You don't have it uh, getting caught. And no, it's smooth. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because this is such a great buy very pleased with it very happy and i also love how the wallet itself has like a quilted texture unfortunately we do have a fail of the month which most likely i'm still probably going to use up until the very last drop since i already tossed out the box a super goop and this is their daily dose vitamin c which also contains spf 40. really looking forward to this product because it does contain vitamin c which is great for the skin to help brighten the skin right pump out a little bit this is uh, what it looks like. So you essentially rub it all over your face. We're just rubbing it on our hands <laughs> for the video's purpose. But it does have a strong SPF scent, unlike the Unseen Sunscreen, which we just chatted about a few minutes ago, which is fragrance-free. Don't like about this product, and I think it's going to be not the best especially once the temperatures start to really rise here in southern california is that when i wear this on its own it makes me extremely oily as in extremely extremely oily it made me feel and look like a grease ball i'm still going to use this because i feel like it's such a waste you know if i toss it but yeah it's just not the best if you have oily skin unfortunately this was a fail for me but the other two super goop items winners in my book. So those are all of my April favorites and one unfortunate fail. What did you guys think of these items? Have you guys tried any of them? Do you have any recommendations? We are going to be heading to the store this weekend. Finally been a while, probably about a month since we've replenished a lot of our toiletries and I'm on the lookout for things and I really also have my list on items which you guys have been recommending. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. I truly appreciate your time thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you guys enjoyed hanging out and enjoyed this video and found it helpful please make sure you give it a like subscribe if you have not already would love for you to be part of the chicky crew thank you chicky so much for watching stay safe and healthy and i will see you in the next video Mwah.